Hey guys, I am here doing something that I have never done before, nor did I think I would ever do, which is an unboxing. Uh, what exactly am I unboxing? Well, it just arrived, I mean literally just arrived, the Galileo Scope. Now if you don't know what the Galileo Scope is, basically this uh, organization that put on the uh, International Year of Science, which is apparently what 2009 is, yay. Uh, this is basically their pet project, which is to make uh, a, a powerful, yet cheap, telescope. And uh, you can see some imagery and things like that on the box. It's actually a pretty neat box. I ordered this, I think around April, and it finally arrived. Um, it took a long time, but I'm very happy to get it, and I understand uh, the reasons why. So right now, I'm going to be unboxing it to see what exactly it looks like. Actually, let's look at what it actually says here for just a second. Um, I'm wondering if I should... Yeah, sure. So here's the box. Galileo scope. Let's see here. There's uh, all the technical stuff that I remember made sense to me when I was taking astronomy courses and um, subsequently have forgotten most of. So uh, it's here. Uh, developed by leading astronomers and uh, optical designers and educators. Okay. Uh, names would have been nice. Uh, free educational act, uh, well, free education activities and observing guides uh, available online at galileoscope.org. You should all go there. And um, there's the nice little symbol for Galileo Scope. The universe is ours to discover. International Year of, Disco of uh, Astronomy. And a bunch of uh, companies that helped, and organizations that helped develop this, which is awesome. And so now, we're going to open. Always be sure to cut away. Aha. Okay, so um, now that I see how it's actually packaged, we're going to go inside, because I don't trust doing this outside. You'll see why. So, why did I feel the sudden urge to bring my Galileo scope back inside? Here's why. Um, it comes in parts. As you can see here. Uh, the reason why is, uh, I believe, because... I probably don't believe him. I think it actually says on the website that in order to, when you put it together, it helps you learn how a telescope is well put together. So, wonderful. Great. Um, how about this? I could do one of two things. I could either show you me making it, or I could just show you the finished, uh, finished project. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make the decision for you. I'm going to wait until uh, you can see the finished product. If you want to see what it's like, buy one. And there is your Galileo telescope, or Galileo scope, if you will. Nice little insignia right there, which isn't in focus for some reason. Now, this is uh, more of a pain to make than I thought it was going to be. Um, mostly it's the directions. And considering that this is supposed to go to educators, and, and the educators would get, I imagine, better directions, um, it's because you're going to assemble it with kids. That, uh, that, of course, I got the, the crappy end of it. What would be great is that if they had, you know, an, they had a checklist of all the parts you're supposed to get. What would be great if you have an, an image beside the parts that you mentioned, because uh, for the most part, I had no idea. And when you were placing it together, uh, there were some places where I had no idea where it was actually supposed to be placed. For instance, I had the entire thing assembled, and uh, I saw in a picture that the focuser was actually a lot further in. Then I had it, and I realized that that's the purpose of the focuser. It's supposed to slide back and forth, but the place where I had put it um, wouldn't allow it to slide back and forth. So um, that wasn't clear. In fact, the way how it was assembled made it seem like it should have been the place where I put it, but it's not supposed to go there. It's supposed to go further forward. So I had to take the thing apart and then put it back together. But I didn't ha have to take the whole thing apart, which is a good thing. 
the lenses, uh, the focusers, I should say. Well, uh, these these pieces, uh, and actually these these are indeed two pieces in one. I would take it apart, but um, that would involve two hands, and um, this is on a ledge. And um, well, what's great about that is that um, one is pretty powerful, one's not so powerful, but then when you combine them, they're really powerful. Uh, that's the uh, 50 times one that they have uh, that they have mentioned, which is the one you would use if you wanted to see. Uh, Saturn and uh, and uh, Jupiter, which I probably won't be doing, because uh, well I won't know how to do that. As you can see, it's it's actually really nice. Uh, the lens was really good. Uh, it was shiny, really impressive, and I <laughs> I tried my damnedest not to make it dark. And uh, yeah, can't quite see through there, can you? Nope, nope, can't do it. Oh well. So, yeah, Galileo Telescope. It is a telescope for $15. Kind of feels like it, but in a good way. In a way that lets you know that, yes, it's made of you know, cheap plastic and it's made of uh, all these sorts of things, but you, it has to be, and you have to build it yourself in, to, in order to keep costs down. It makes sense. So if you uh, want a telescope for yourself, if you uh, just want to look up at the stars uh, casually, Go ahead and buy one of these things. What's great also is that it actually does have a tri tripod mount. You actually have to build the tripod mount here. Uh, yep, yeah, there you go. You can see it. And um, I was kind of worried about that because um, as far as I could tell, there was no notion for that. So I guess they, I was thinking that they were hoping that people would have really steady hands. But no, it's, um, it's good. It's going to be good. I have a very nice tripod. And, um, well, the clouds, the clouds worry me. But it was really clear last night which is ironic. So hopefully I'll be able to see some stars and uh, see some stars, see some planets, I should say, really close up. Go get yourself one. It's uh, I said it was a pain to make, but it was a manageable pain. Um, and I'm a guy who normally doesn't build a lot of things. I want to build a lot more things, but yeah. Year of Astronomy. Enjoy.